Hello, I am going to show you how to set up IIS on Windows 7 Ultimate so you can serve files as a basic server. First thing you have to do is install IIS on your computer. Click Start, Control Panel, Programs, select Turn Windows Features on or off under Programs and Features. Then highlight the Internet Information Services box, and click the OK tab. Now that you have IIS installed, you need to see how to get there. You need a few shortcuts you can make that make it easy to access. The first one you want is for the IIS Service Manager. Click, Start, Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, then right-click in the Internet Information Services IIS Manager and highlight Sent to, and select Desktop Create Shortcut. The second one is for Root Folder. Click, Start, My Computer, C colon slash, in Atpub, then right-click on root and create a shortcut same as above. I also like to make a new folder and a new text document on the desktop for moving files around it is very handy. Then we need to configure IIS to let us view the directories files you will install. And make sure that anonymous authentication is enabled.
Let's make sure that Windows Firewall will let incoming clients through. Click, Start, Control Panel, System and Security Windows Firewall, Advanced Settings, Inbound Rules. You want to make sure that the World Wide Web Services is set to as enabled. Let's test it out. You want to open your web browser and in the address bar type in either HTTP colon flash flash localis or HTTP colon flash flash 127.0.0.1 or HTTP colon flash slash IP address for your machine. I will show you the IP address method. It requires you to obtain your IP address which will be handy later. You will need your local internet IP address if your machine is behind the router, firewall, or antivirus software, and you want to access your server from another computer outside of your local network, and want to share with your files with family and friends. You will need to port forward port colon 80 which is the default port for IIS. You can change which port IIS uses but for now we will leave his alone we just want to see if IIS is running and available on our local internet. To get your local internet IP address open the command prompt by start then type run without in the search box. Select run, then type cmd again without the and click on OK. This brings up the command prompt. In the command prompt type, dip config and press enter. You are looking for the line that says IPv4. Write that number down on a notepad for easy access. Now that you have your IP address for your local internet, open your internet browser's address bar not the search bar and type in HTTP colon flash slash your IP address and press enter. You should see the IIS7 welcome screen.